Ah, good morning, kids. So as you can tell from last week, I'm trying out a, a few different things to maybe help us mix up how we pray, to maybe help us focus on God. And after filming this week's video, I realize it's a bit, uh, well, it's an adventure. So I'm asking you to use your imagination. One of the things we're looking at is how the psalmists, that's the people that wrote the book of Psalms in the Bible, it's a book of prayers, and they use their imagination. Did you guys know you can use your imagination when you pray? These psalmists imagined deer panting for water. They imagined mountains crumbling to the sea, mountaintops melting, storms and pits and all kinds of stuff to express how they felt about God. And so that's what we're gonna try to do today, is we're gonna try to use our imagination to follow the flow of thought of this psalm by King David. So this song, this prayer by David, we're gonna use cutting edge technology, Augustine and I, it's, it's called Zoom call virtual background. And this time in prayer, guys, I'm asking you to use a couple of props. One of them is simply a crown. If you have a toy crown, you could use it. Um, it has something to do with what David says about us, and we're going to use it. Or you could make your own like I did, which is a piece of construction paper that I zigzag cut it, and then I stapled it. So, yeah. A scepter. I know that sounds weird. I'll mention a little bit about what a scepter is, but anything kind of long, kind of thin. It could be a toilet paper tube. Well, maybe not a toilet paper tube. It could be a, tape, a paper towel tube, your TV remote. Anything that looks roughly like this. A quick disclaimer about recording from Zoom. Well, Sometimes the audio, what you're hearing, and the video, what you're seeing, is a little bit out of sync. And so parents, I just want to let you know, it looks a little bit like a poorly dubbed foreign film. I'm going to ask you to do some stuff with your hands. We're going to act out a little bit here and there. And I'm going to ask you to imagine that we're going uh, to the places that David is talking about. So buckle in, kids. We're going to go on a moving prayer using our imagination. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, Augustine. What? Let's, uh, let's take a walk and find somewhere that we can pray. What do you think? All right, can we walk? All right, let's go. Oh, no, we're on the edge of the cliff. We gotta find another spot to pray. Maybe we can find some place out of the clouds. Okay, let's keep walking. We'll walk down the mountain, okay? Let's walk right down the mountain, walk right down. Oh, we're at the ocean. Ah, we're at the beach. How did we get to the beach? I don't know. I think we're getting... I think you're right. We took the wrong path. We're going to have to go back. All right. So what do you think? Should we go to a place uh, with a big view or just a nice grassy field? Just a nice grassy field. Okay. Ah! Okay. Kids, what we're actually doing is using our imagination to pretend we are in different places. That is a green screen. <laughs> so that's what it looks like actually in real life. And we're using our imagination today because that has been the focus on these little videos about prayer. Last week, we used movement as part of our imagination. Remember, we imagined that we were trees? Okay, well, this week we're gonna use imagination with movement, but we're also gonna use imagination with a little help from our green screen. Augustine and I are gonna return to our little hilltop, right? Is that the spot you liked? Everybody use your imagination. One of the things you can do when you pray, guys, it's just like Augustine and I pretended to go on a walk and find a good spot to pray, is find a good spot to pray. Right now, you're probably watching this in front of a computer or a TV, but just keep that in mind that one of the ways you can pray to God is find a good spot that you can concentrate and focus. So we're gonna do that digitally. Here we go. Um, we wanted to go to the grassy field. Um, yeah, maybe the fog will clear. You think it'll clear? Yeah. Okay, all right. Ah, it cleared up. Woo! What a beautiful day. Look around, August. Look at the clouds. Wow. Okay. All right. So we found a nice quiet spot to pray. And now we're going to stretch and we're going to get ready to move, right? You ready? Are you excited? All right. So we're going to use a couple of things to engage the imagery. Remember the pictures of a prayer, particularly in the book of Psalms. Today, we're looking at Psalm 8. Psalm 8. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. So guys, can you imagine 
August, you ready? Let's write the word God across the sky. Look, God's majesty fills the sky. Yes. Wow. Look at the sky, Augustine. Your glory is higher than the heavens. Augustine, I think we're going to have to imagine the heavens. And you know, if you go just past that blue sky, whoa, look around, look at the stars. Look at the stars. Can you imagine looking into space? Everybody stretch out a little bit, stretch out a little bit. Can you do this, Augustine? Stretch and look into the heavens. Did you know God's glory is even there? Wonderful. Wow, okay. that would be so cool it really looked like this in it, space. It does. It really looks like that in space. This is a picture from space. We're in space right now. By the way, kids, if we were in space, you wouldn't be able to hear a sound. All those blips and explosions in Star Wars movies, it's not real because there's no air in space and so sound can't travel the same way. Anyway. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength. So we're going to do happy baby pose to remember that even little babies are part of God's majestic glory in the earth. Isn't that right, Augustine? Yeah. All right. Oh, no. My eyes are grassy. Ah. Silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. So can we shush? Shh. So God's glory is so amazing that it silences his bows. Augustine, the next part of this prayer, it goes back to the night sky. So let's go back up. We're going to fly all the way up to space. Okay. Oh, I made it. Oh, can you pretend you're floating? Oh. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place. Can you imagine God making all of the little stars? Imagine you're looking at the stars. Look at that one and that one. That one. God made all that was cool. That was cool. Okay. And so imagine, guys, God can see all of this. And that's what David responds to at this part of the prayer. What are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them? That's me? Did you know God thinks about you? No. He does. Did you know that God, even though he's made all of this, look at this, look at all of it. He cares about you. And he sees you. <laughs> so we should dance. Yay! God sees us and cares about us. Woo! Yeah, dance. Do your dance moves, August. And you know what? I think we should hug ourselves because God cares and loves us. Don't you think he wants us to care and love yeah. ourselves too? Yeah. Yay! All right. You're sweaty. Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. I think this is a good time to put on our crowns. What do you think? I'm clutching All right. the earth. If you made a paper crown, now's the time to pull it out. Crowned ourselves. You know how your parents might call you my little princess or my little prince? Hey, Did you, you, you call us that sometimes. Yeah. Did you guys know that that's how God sees you too? That you're like royalty. Huh. Guys, that's better than a Disney princess story, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Look at, did you know God put us in charge of all that? So August, I think this is our time to pick up our scepters. Grab your scepter and hold it up. This is, a, I know it's a weird thing. It's just a, a stick that symbolizes that people rule things. Just like this hat symbolizes that people rule things. That God made us like kings and queens. I'm pointing at people. Stretch your scepter arms. Uh, you're gonna rule. Uh. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals. And the herds and all the wild animals? You guys really gotta to talk to Matt Matthews about his cow noise, it is fantastic. The birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims in the ocean currents. What's your favorite bird besides chicken? because they don't really fly in the sky. Crackles? Crackles. Is that what they're called? Yeah, I mean, crackles. I mean crows, crows. She's gonna pretend to be a crow. I'm gonna pretend to be a peregrine falcon. Okay, you ready? I'm a peregrine falcon. Pretend to be a bird. Octopus. The fish, the fish in the Look, sea. I'm an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> You're a great octopus. Oh lord, oh lord, your majestic name fills all the earth. I guess let's go on a quick tour again to everywhere we went. Did you know that God's name and his majesty is here? And it's here. And it's here. And it's over the oceans. And it's over the mountains and the hills. And if we looked out into space, did you know God's glory is there too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that amazing? As we've explored, moving and even using our imagination can be used by God in prayer. My friend Jerome calls this conscious Godward movement. I know that's a big word, but basically, guys, if you think about God and you want to talk to him, I think you're going to be able to spend time with him. So whatever helps you in prayer, if it's a walk, if it's opening your Bible and reading a psalm, if it's being quiet and still in a beautiful place or in your room or in your bed, if it's imagining the words in the psalm and acting out the words in the psalm, whatever it is, do whatever you can to talk to God more. I hope this has been a little helpful. Thanks for joining us on our journey. August, look at those gigantic blueberries. Uh, Think I can pick one? I'll pick one. <laughs> oh. <laughs>